I'm talking about Jesus, 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 Jesus. <laughs> help me now, Jesus. Help me. Show me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I like it. You like it? I like it. Jesus, give mm. me some of that. Mm, mm, Jesus money. I know you got mm, <laughs> deep, 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 deep pockets. Why don't you give me some of that? Bang, bang. Jesus, Jesus money. money. Ooh. Stop being funny with your money, Lord, because I need some. <laughs> Yo, you are listening to the show for live Sorrentino. I'm Justin Lugan. And I'm Laura. Yo. Hanging out in Chris's wing. You brought some <laughs> extra bells out tonight. No, no he's going to have bell. Oh. oh. That was tricky. It's the Hollywood Tower Hotel. Ooh, it's good. It's, it's a good beige be bell. Here. One of the rarest. I, yeah. I've never seen a beige bell, it's I don't think. Spooky bell. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen a beige well. bell. Yeah, what? Name a beige yeah. bell you've seen. Oh, Come on. Boy, that Think one, about it. The other one? <laughs> <laughs> we could dig one out, you've I'm sure. You've seen bells like yeah. this. Silver bells. Silver, Silver there's bells. There's a whole fucking song. There's no sure. beige bells. <laughs> beige bells. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome well, well. to working at UPS. <laughs> <laughs> Alternative Christmas music. Yeah. We may occasionally get distracted by a fly. That's what just... This fucking fly... All right. The fly came in with the raccoon. It's I like think. a jungle in yeah. here tonight. There's a raccoon that was hanging out for yeah. a while. Wiener, was it Wiener Dick? Yeah. Wiener Dick? I think Wiener it's, Dick. I think or, it's wiener or are dick. you Wiener Dick? <laughs> we are both weird. <laughs> I am a raccoon. And he is me. It's not fair to the raccoon that you... So God <laughs> pretended it was your dick and waved it at him from like four feet away and then tried to feed it to him and said, your nickname is His Wiener, wiener dick. dick. <laughs> that raccoon was just minding his business, eating the cat food. He looked like a chill dude. Definitely not a wiener dick. This but... one's just throwing pretzels and Cheez-Its at him. Yeah. Just I throwing... wanted to be his friend. You did. You you really wanted to be his friend. I it was, did. But there was an air of desperation, and I think he <laughs> I sensed know. that. I know. He sensed it. Did not trust the food. You gave him. No. He did it. It's all laying there yeah. on the, the porch still. It's yeah, just littered. Clean it up before the rats come. You're going to clean that up. I'm I got it. This uh, heart dirgs everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Only want to catch Throwing hot dogs, hot dogs everywhere. <laughs> what if it's like, as a, what if in the <laughs> raccoon's disgusting. mind, he's like, this guy thinks I'm a cat. <laughs> and if I stop eating cat food, he's gonna stop know. He's gonna it out. This is a trick. This is a test. Only this a raccoon is- would eat that hot dog. I'm clearly a cat. You like to feed cats outside, right? Here I am. Meow, meow, meow. Um, yeah. <laughs> he just kept eating the dry food. He loves it. He like again. Well, he's raised on it. They're, they're, oh, they this cute. They come around. And like I haven't seen them in a long time. There used to be like four of them. There used to be like three and a mother. I don't know what's going on. Tragedy. That's what's happening. I hope there's not some kind of tra- it's family yeah. drama. It's a happen. family tragedy happens. You know, where the mother stopped talking to one of the brother brothers. The one of the brothers came out. He's gay. The mother didn't like it. They <laughs> stopped talking to it. One of the brothers still talks to him, but the other brother doesn't know they still talk to him, and he keeps it high a drama in the it's raccoon. A raccoon family drama. Yeah, social. Just let them be. Just let them be. Let raccoons live. Just let them exp- be happy. Yeah, express themselves how they feel fit. If they want to eat cat food. Maybe you don't throw you cheese be a cat. Maybe you Maybe identify you as a cat. You're a raccoon. <laughs> I don't care. Enjoy your life. Yeah. I'm fine with it. As far as I'm concerned, that's a cat. That's yeah. A cat. I'm sorry, Wiener Dick. I'm sorry I called you a raccoon. <laughs> Wiener Dick, you're a cat. Wiener Dick the cat. Wiener Dick the cat. Wiener Dick the cat. <laughs> Wiener Dick the cat raccoon. <laughs> it can't just be like muffins. No, we can't. We can't have a raccoon just muffins named muffins. Gone. It has to be Wiener Dick. Oh, muffins, we had muffin plural. a cat. Muffins muffin. gone. Muffin is a cat name. I was muffins trying to think gone. of the very muffins on our logo. 
Oh, that's right. Yeah, that I happened. didn't even consciously yeah, look. I just gone. Yeah. 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 Listeners oh. might not know. Chris is holding a dead cat on our loan. <laughs> <laughs> well, because yeah, that was during the pandemic. I subconsciously knew this though, and I yeah. didn't. I I didn't consciously say was muffins. Was I was just show. thinking, what is the most stereotypical cat name? That's like yeah. muffin. Yeah. Muffin yeah. is it was muffin. Yeah. yeah, I had a muffin. Cheers that to muffin. Yeah, muffin. Miss muffin. We miss muffin. muffin. The muffin. Cheers. If you if you don't know. Muffin uh, was a cat that lived in just my office, and during the pandemic, uh, during lockdown, when we were just recording remotely yeah. over Zoom, and it was uh, Zoom, Zoom, <laughs> Zoom. But yeah, so I, yeah. I had this cat, and the cat. If you if you weren't a listener, then the cat would be a part of the episode, and she was amazing. But she passed away. She passed she's away. Gone. I'm sorry to have brought us. up this sad memory. No, for you. it's okay. But it's nice to honor. It's okay, the raccoons are coming next, so. Next pandemic, it'll be me and 17 <laughs> records. Yeah. And you want to be like the hot dog, the hot dog guy. Oh, I'll be the hot dog guy all day. Yeah. There's a guy on YouTube who just gives hot dogs to raccoons. Like, I don't yeah. know. Like, he's Wait, well, he doesn't, saw... but he doesn't do the dick thing. He doesn't, <laughs> oh, no, he doesn't no, do no. the dick thing. He doesn't well, have that. No, he doesn't record it. You know, he definitely did it. If he, did, I'll tell you, you should not keep doing that because all you're doing <laughs> is to you're training, training a raccoon to attack your dick, <laughs> or put it in its mouth. That's exactly what you're doing, John. Right? <laughs> Give me some credit. I'm grooming a raccoon in the backyard. <laughs> oh my god, he's a raccoon groomer. <laughs> Shh, it's a cat. It'd be really funny to trank one, give it like a weird haircut, and let it. Look. No weird haircut. <laughs> dress it like, <laughs> dress it like Rocket from Guardians of the Galaxy, yeah. and let it loose. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you would really make like magical childhood moments for oh, so many yeah. kids. Yeah, be oh, like totally Santa Claus Daddy, in the neighborhood. Got <laughs> Daddy, look outside. <laughs> Imagine if you saw Rocket run like a raccoon dressed like that. That's amazing. I feel like Fast raccoons, and furious outside. Yeah. raccoons are pretty smart. I feel like it would just sit sit up and like unbutton the buttons. Well, imagine the kid who gets to see that. <laughs> <laughs> see his raccoon ball. Like take his jacket off and run. <laughs> Daddy, like, I just saw a raccoon take off his jacket and run away. <laughs> he, hung, he hangs up the jacket. A little, little hook. Yeah, they have like little hands. They have like smart. thumbs and everything. They're yeah. they're like ambi, you know, like ambi. Yeah, they clean things, couple. right? They they have. It's not like they have a thumb, but they do have. No, they have thumbs. Do they? Have a thumb? Is it they a thumb? Thumbs. They have opposable like... thumbs. It's pretty amazing. Hello, everyone. It's me, Sambot Malonitron, the bartending robot of tomorrow. I'm sorry to interrupt. But I feel I need to correct Chris here, because raccoons do not have opposable thumbs. They do, however, carry several diseases that are harmful to humans, including leptospirosis, salmonella, roundworm, and rabies. Anyways, I should let you get back to the show. Until next time. Cheers. I was gonna say ambidextrous. That's not that. That's, that's one, when you can, that's use when you can use both hands. Yeah. Well, they can. They can use both hands. <laughs> can they? For mischief. I've seen them. They, they hold apples and they're like, where? Yeah, they have opposable thumbs. That's true. Bandits, masked bandits. That's they what are, they call yeah. them. Yeah. Yep. That and trash pandas. Yep. Trash panda. That's cute. That's I cute. like trash panda. I like. I like raccoons. I have a soft spot. For I them. stay. The, I. You know, they cost me a lot of money. I know, I get that. John had a raccoon problem not that long ago. Like Seventeen hundred bucks. Slap studio in New Jersey. In the end, yeah. not counting the, the traps. But you're making memories. Uh, oh, excuse you're me. You're making memories. Okay. Yeah. You paid. You paid seventeen hundred dollars, but you just put this in your. One day you're going to be fifty five, and you're going to be talking to the new twenty eight year old guy who just bought a house next to you, and you're going to be like, "Yeah, thirty years ago, I, you know." Had raccoons yeah, like you, like a, you know, you want to borrow my trap. <laughs> yeah, I could tell you a little bit about getting raccoons out of the attic. You sardines, just throw the whole can in. Oil strains to stain the driveway. <laughs> blast Gilbert Gottfried. That's what he did. That's what John's gonna turn into. I blast Gilbert Gottfried and like coyotes howling and like an area. <laughs> 
fucking siren and polka music. I was just opening up YouTube in different tabs. Yeah, annoying. And going different videos, and I had a and a Bluetooth speaker. You just that attracted like Weird Al here. <laughs> <laughs> the raccoons left, and it's just like Weird Al's look in at there. The, look at the it differences works, between to... your the two of you. Yeah, as far as your raccoon like oh, engagement not, models, you he's know, not playing Gilbert now. He's gonna have a raccoon costume on <laughs> in the morning. Gonna... <laughs> oh yeah, you kidding me? <laughs> he's okay. doing raccoon. Rubbing peanut butter like, on his head. Yeah, I'm gonna look like <laughs> Super Mario Brothers three out in my backyard. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He's inviting the raccoons in. That's, You're kicking them out. That's a good costume for you. Yeah. That's uh, cute. Yeah. Do that run. <laughs> Do that run, run around conventions my, my little like that. Tail. Yeah. We'll hook your tail up to like a motor. <laughs> yeah, man. This is a good retirement plan for you. You know, just cosplaying things, getting people yeah. like renting yourself out. Only high end shit, though. Like, Remember that we did that gig for like some corporate, some big corporation like Goldman Sachs or some shit. Like oh, we played, with that bar in downtown. Yeah, like we played right like a retirement ferry, party. Yeah. You get people yeah, like that, that money, like yeah. for a thousand dollars, you'll yeah. come. I got, I got a dude who is gonna fly me out for a big thing out in Chicago right, to is... do Jake Blues. He fly me out, put me in a, a hotel, pay me. The only thing that sucks, it's on my wife's birthday, mm. her fortieth birthday. Oh, yeah. Is she coming? I hope. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll talk about her yeah. 40th birthday. No, we'll, we, okay. we'll talk about it. It's still, you know, it's still a while away. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's just, you know, it's something I gotta, I gotta, you know, figure out. It's cool. I see, I see this as a life for you. Money. Yeah. Just make money. Money, bringing joy to the people. Look at yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Bring joy to everyone but my wife. <laughs> her birthday. Her 40th birthday. She's alone crying in a cake. She's <laughs> she's melting she's melting the Carvel ice cream cake with her tears. Speaking of ice cream cake. Speaking of Carvel ice cream cakes, didn't you wasn't there something you you were gonna tell me, but you told me to not look oh, up about anything Carvel. about Carvel. I was like, yeah, and then you I, were like, "Don't, I have to." Very tell you mysterious, this thing. Yeah, yeah, very mysterious. Oh, I stumbled upon shoot, I I stumbled upon something that was basically saying uh, that some people believe that Tom Carvel was murdered. Oh, what? And we never. No, I didn't know anything about. He Tom has a, he has a niece. This is not a new story. This is like. 10 years old maybe older um she wanted she wanted to uh exhume his body she, they wanted to, like dig him up and run an autopsy and oh. stuff to see if he was murdered by people who worked for him at Carvel what Whoa. because the weekend he died he was super upset thinking that these two people were trying to like take over the company and he was basically going to his house upstate to kind of like clear his head. And when he got back to work on Monday, he was going to fire these people. But he died of a heart attack in his bed that Sunday. And oh. this niece thinks it's Thank way you. too convenient that oh. he died. What that year weekend. was it? But he was also like 84 years old. 84. And he's and under super stress. Stressed under out. stress. Uh, yeah. Because he was going through legal battles and there are legal battles like Carvel, there's all this fighting over who has ownership and stuff. He wanted to leave it mostly to like charities, but like his wife ended up getting cut out of it. And these other, there were all these lawsuits back and forth and like to really? big. Yeah, it was Are like they a big, running the big company mess. now. These people, these no, now they're eggs. dead. That's, oh, they're uh, they yeah. murdered too. These people were like in legal. No, they're just old. They just fought in court until they like died, and people are just inheriting this fight over the Carvel fortune. Wow, that sounds like an ice cream mafia. To me. Yeah. Ice cream. <laughs> but was Tom Carvel killed? And so, did they ever get? Did she get the autopsy? Was I don't she think able? Because so, it's kind of like. <laughs> They There's no evidence, and, and every you're like what you want to like the people that you think had him killed are also they, dead now. But what they, year did he die? Did they find him in the I, freezer? Was like, it the 80s like, when he died, or was it five years? You know, ten years ago. No, it wasn't the 80s, but it was like Frankie you know, Carbone and Goodfellas. You used to be able to kill people a lot easier 
the further back you go. That's what I'm saying. If she's, she's Frankie it's... Carbone in Good, Goodfellas. He's hanging in a meat locker <laughs> like an icicle off his nose. He's like, like a cookie puss on his head. Anyway. Yeah, all right. Dun, so uh, dun, legal battles. Dun, dun, dun. Already cost the Carvel financial legacy more than $28 million. Yeah, Pamela Carvel, Tom's niece, who was helping Tom's widow, Agnes, through the years of court battles until she passed in 1998 at age 89. In fact, the pair lived together in London trying to escape the heartache caused by years of fighting and seeking some peace for Agnes in her final years. On the other side were two longtime employees of Tom Carvel, Former Secretary Mildred Arca de Pain and Attorney Robert Davis. I like all these. Uh, At least Agnes they were in Mildred. <laughs> like all these like awful yeah. people sound like this is battle axes. They fought <laughs> until Sorry, they. Sorry, all you Mildreds and Agnes's that are listening. Like, I didn't mean you specifically. <laughs> but they were. They fought until they died in like 2002. Wow, the Car- this cursed the curse yeah. of Carvel. Yeah, the curse of Carvel. Yeah, the ice cream wars. The Cold War. The Cold You'll die War. In your... The Cold Carvel War. <laughs> I remember. The curse is the curse is you die in your 80s. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that much of a curse. It's 89 like... years old. She you die with probably sleep. Yeah. Dead. <laughs> oh, Jesus. But God. they all fought until they died over Well, there maybe they Carvel. didn't murder him, but they they still killed him. Yeah, it still you know, drove died. him. Yeah, drove him to the grave. That was that was his end. That stress. You know, he went out to a cabin in the woods, right? Like, you know, sometimes a man, a man's got to do. Yeah, you know? I heard that's popular. That guy's been doing that's that. Just, you're, you're the segue master. <laughs> I mean, we're just we're. No, no. <laughs> that bell. I'm taking the beige bell away. Oh, the beige bell. Wait, wait, is wait, a... Can I try it? It's no, been a long time. It's no, been a long time. it's a wait, it's wait. a bad bell. Let me see. Let me hang on. All right. Yeah, you fingered the bell. Oh, yeah. look. But his meat meatball hands over here meatball is hands. not. No, look at. Look. He can't do it. He can't do it. <laughs> it's not his fault. He's it, got doesn't, big it, doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't work. Oh, Lord did it. All right. No. I'm sorry, sausage fingers. <laughs> <laughs> You're banned from the beige bell. <laughs> Um. Yeah, I went to the cabin. We talked about it on the last episode that I was going away. You, and... It sounds like you went to a hut. Yeah, I mean, there's no <laughs> no electricity, like, no you running went to water. Obi Wan's cave. It was a tiny. Yeah, it was like a <laughs> tiny little <laughs> hut. Yeah, sure. It was a hut. It, it was... was a little hut in the woods, but cute, quaint, quaint. It was all I needed. Yeah, it was yeah. Just, just a little bit of shelter because there was, you know, there was some stuff going on at night. You were glamping. you wouldn't like that. Oh, it was like. Howling, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's definitely like a coyote howl. There were owls kind of driving me nuts at one point, but really, I came like real, I was real close with a red fox that was Whoa. real cute. That was cool. You had like a Pocahontas moment. I did. I was Aww. like, if I lived here all the time, that would have been my friend. Like, that would have, yeah. I would have been throwing him hot dogs. Yeah, yeah, Aww, man. But yeah, he man. was cool. He looked at me and he took a poop and scratched behind his ear and then ran away. That's it, man. Yeah. Pa- painted with all the colors of the wind. And uh, <laughs> took off. <laughs> <but> my... <laughs> Take care. I loved it. I could have stayed there. It wasn't like makes you really miss, you know, well, you were <laughs> the there for cars two... are racing yeah. outside. You were there yeah. for two days. I was there for two days. Yeah. I definitely I would have liked to have done longer. I could see you being a mountain man. That's, like yeah. just moving to the woods. Can't you see him living on the side of a mountain? Like just going into trade once every if season. I didn't, yeah, if I didn't he's have that a, type of weirdo. If yeah. I didn't have a family, like that's that is what I would do. Yeah. That's so not me. So I'm trying to like basically I need to do it more. My wife, she said to me, she goes, I think you should do that once a month. I was like, <laughs> right. once a month? Yeah. 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 And it wasn't me being gone necessarily, although I'm sure that's a nice break, but also she's got two kids at an age sure. where it's like a lot. I, it was more who I was all week. It was just, you know what I mean? I it was, was good for a, you. Yeah, it was good. Good. It was good. We celebrate that. It was like a we hard reset. We support it. We send John to yeah. camp. That's, we're going to set up a fund. Camp, camp slap. Oh, no. I want to. Yeah, I tried. I, I guys, know. I can't. Just... All right. She's getting rid of the bell. 
No, oh, it's on the box. Banished. Townhouse Peters. Wow. Where it belongs. Banished Bell. <laughs> the Banished Bell. This isn't the first bell you've banished. This is the first bell. Has anybody ever... No, has... no this isn't. This is not the first banished banishment. The we bell. had the big... That's right. Yeah. You know, the second banishment. Which, but that so... wasn't my decision. This one feels more executive level. Like, yeah. I just made an executive level decision without really asking you guys. Like, no, I just... Fine. Sorry to I've, be so aggressive, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> he's he was a little uh, like he thinks that the we didn't bury the bell deep enough. What if they dug up the bell? Well, Christine told me that they're doing a bunch of work over there, <gasps> digging up the lot next to it. There's a whole bunch of stuff Somebody where you said found you found the bell, and we got a call from the bell. The bell from hell. That's right, the bell from hell. So I don't, I don't know. I don't feel good about it. You I think know, the two of you might want to check on it. Yeah. Next time. Yeah. Next but what do we do if it's gone? If it's not there, then we 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 have to do a more. Um... Only you and I know where this is buried. <laughs> Nobody here. else. That's right. I want to hear else this. If it's missing, if it's out there, and someone's in their house just smacking it oh, every time they do they, yeah. something bad happens. The way my ceiling fan broke, Laura. It was like there was a demon in the room. It was dark, and I heard. <laughs> Like that, and I got scared, and then it. But fell, why isn't this proof? We and it did was broke, a banishment the metal of the broke. bell. See, here's what here's why I don't think that this is still the bell. We did a whole ceremony. Remember the lights went off. Remember, as soon as we did the thing, the lights went off, yeah. and he almost peed his pants. Yeah, yeah, I remember. But <laughs> we did a that severing. Was but it- we severed it from you. So now we have to start looking into other cursed items oh, that come you come on have. with this shit. Oh, no. And what if going to the woods? Oh, maybe no. that's maybe that's part of the it's part of it. That felt good. Nothing you felt bad happened there? in the woods. Good. Maybe yeah, something, I felt better maybe something in your house. Let's we have to cleanse the, the Wi Fi. It's the Wi Fi. It's the, the Wi Fi. We gotta the five G. It's yeah. It's Biden. No, you can't get away from the five G. It was five G at the cabin. You really? can't get away. It's yeah, I wanted my earth. phone to not really work that well, and it was it was fine. I could have watched Netflix up there. You can't escape that anywhere now. We just have to have self control. Skynet yes. stuff, baby. That's what I don't like. I'm going to get another beer. I just finished. See you a, later. A, See you. Uh, Ross Cracking Bats, one of my favorite beers. Mm, you know what? I had that, and I'm having get a, me a raspberry sour. What do you want? You want another yeah. Rose? Yeah. You want anything? And I also uh, brought I'm those good. drinks to try. Oh, you know, it's just long enough. Oh, you want to try these disgusting drinks? <laughs> yeah, we have some. Oh, the, fuck the annual me. toga party was this past weekend. That's Yo, right. Oh, yes. Oh, so wait, leftover from it. You have a strawberry daiquiri, a classic lime margarita, and a Calypso Colada, which I'm claiming the Calypso Colada, the blue one. I think we should do taste tests. I think we should get some cups out. All right. We should Let's all taste, taste all of them. them. I know all what right. So. Like. You know what they taste like? We're, yeah. we're tasting them. I we're, think you got to go we're, for we're, it. We're going like taste shit. them together. All right, so, so while they I pour like these... <laughs> <laughs> while I pour these out, why don't you tell us about the toga party? The toga party. <laughs> Yet another toga party I didn't go to, and but, I'm sorry. Oh, you missed but a good you, one. You missed a good one. This is my favorite story. We have this toga party 18 years now. Like... It's a long time. It's a long time. So this guy, a random man who hangs out at Steinies, right? Heard okay. people talking about the toga party the coming weekend. He heard the buzz about the toga party. So just people in the bar. Just people in the bar it. that are coming. That that you know they're coming to the party, so yeah. they're talking about it. He showed up on toga night to Steinies in a toga and a crown. And it's my one of my favorite things that happened, like 15 minutes away, like four miles away from my actual party. How did it get, how did it get back to you? Like who? who? Steiny. So there's a there's an Instagram for like Hyatt Street and people, they'll post videos of like hanging out on on, on Hyatt Street and somebody posted a video. And he's standing all by himself. He's dancing. Oh, so and Celine funny. Dion, it was like karaoke night and someone was singing The Power of Love or something. <laughs> and he was like kind of vibing off yeah, on the side. So he had a crown. He had a toga. Shout out to that guy. He really. Oh, it was my poor toga loner. I don't even know him. The, the, I don't even know him. Like, yeah, he, but I get it here. Like, just for him to think that it's gonna be there. He so. wanted to fit it. That's such a like a balky move. <laughs> He's like a real life <laughs> balky. Well, he actually just became a United States citizen. <laughs> he really did. <laughs> 
I was there when he came and From people Meepos. people were wearing America stuff because he had just like became a citizen. <laughs> My dream is to go to talk a party. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, let's drink this horrible drink. This is the Calypso Colada. Oh, it water. smells terrible. Oh, it smells like sundown lotion. Blah. The color alone, it's like Windex. Smell it. Oh, it's so nasty. It's so bad. <laughs> oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. We're not, it we're tastes not, like sundown I'm lotion. I'm not going to keep drinking. I, I knew it was no, going to be. No, you have to. No. We you <laughs> fucking brought them here, bro. I just, I just, you got to drink. No. Pound that thing. I'm trying to get rid of them. In a funny you're way. Not, you're not drinking it either? No. no. Well, I'm drinking mine. Well, no. I'm going to drink. <laughs> yeah. Here. Don't no, drink I'm not that. drinking the whole thing. <laughs> the rest of mine. I'm not drinking yours. I was just trying to get rid of them. We're going to dedicate this Seagram's Escapes classic lime oh, margarita to the toga loner. I'm going to hate this. Yeah, go for Ugh, it. It's, it smells like vomit oh, when you were 20. It's green. Yeah. Oh, the next one looks like the worst one. Oh, that looks like the best one to me. That's a strawberry daiquiri. Really? Oh, that's going to be sweet as fuck. You're not drinking, pouring it out again? We don't want this. Well, you know what? I'm not drinking this. I'm going to drink the rest of mine. You're an animal. I'm a trooper. Seagram's, here I come. (laughs) You know know what I am, apparently? You know what I am? (laughs) They shouldn't be in this. They shouldn't be doing this. Oh, oh, oh why'd you do this? Oh. I'm regretting. I'm regretting these. Oh. I regret bringing them. Because oh, you can't help oh, yourself. Oh, you just oh. broke your fan. Oh, my only one. Here's uh, <laughs> your cup. Now we're going to try the strawberry dagger. <laughs> uh, yeah. So wow, it smells like my late. childhood. Oh. It smells like strawberry shortcake. It smells like 1983. It's not that bad. It tastes like not that bad. It tastes like the toys that I wanted Ew. to eat in the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like what a, it like tastes an like. Yeah, like, like a, an eraser yeah. or a My Little Pony that smelled, or like <laughs> a strawberry strawberry shortcake's hair or something. Yeah, <laughs> it's strawberry shortcake's wow. shorts. It's I like this one. Okay. It's not bad. I like right, it. I'm drinking rice it. I liked it. I hate it all. Uh, <laughs> oh, but so thank gross. you. I drank a Seagram strawberry daiquiri and oh, I liked it. God. That is all. Uh, excuse me. God. Oh, man. I'm a mess. So last week, we were talking about a couple of things. We had a really filthy episode talking about how the Mickey Mouse gang likes to Yeah, I've heard. Down. I've heard. We figured it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of solid theories yeah we, we got it covered uh-huh. but you said there was something else you had to talk about that jo- well just to follow up joe and bergio yeah friend of ours i work with him he messages me after hearing the clip that we posted and he was oh, let me see. I, I should try to find his uh his text so i get it exactly right i love joe and bergio by the way we all love Joe. I miss Joe. Joe. Joe should be on soon. Uh, very soon, actually. It's coming. Joe on. took his shirt off on the teacups at Great Adventure today. Did anybody see? No. This, this no. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Tim. Yeah, Tim posted it. <laughs> oh, what a oh, guy! What a it. guy! He's the kind of guy who takes his shirt off on the teacups. I like that. You know? Yeah. All right. He. Ambergio texted me, dude, I just heard the clip about you talking about Goofy and Pluto. I swear I constantly send Sal fan art of Pluto licking Goofy's balls. <laughs> no way. <laughs> the thing so he he's talking about Sal Volcano from Practical Joe. Yes. Joe is another writer on the show as well. I'll he said, I, I, I just started Googling images one day and sending them. He goes, our minds are one. And then we just like <laughs> talked about the whole thing. But then he... He showed. I was like, I don't want to Google it, and he said, Yeah. He goes, Go for it. It's not illegal. Like, oh, it's not yeah, illegal. Not like You're it. not going to jail, buddy. Oh, <laughs> there's man. peanut butter. Yeah, there's peanut butter involved. Goofy's it's, putting peanut butter on his ball. Goofy is naked. Like that's still here. And oh, naked. Another dog has to put peanut butter uh, on his ball to get the dog a, to lick him. A naked Goofy's really like off-putting, yeah. and he's still wearing the white gloves. Yeah, yeah like yeah. a mime. Like a <laughs> sick, <laughs> twisted <laughs> dog mime. It's a weird. It's really. It's, it's goofy. Yeah. It's really. Just, it's disturbing. <laughs> it's 
not illegal. Oh, oh there's another man. one. This is how big Pluto's nipples and dick is. This is something. That's wild. You would never yeah. think about nipples on, on Pluto. This is why old ladies are afraid of the internet. <laughs> this is why <laughs> this is why they go call on the phone and order sweaters through the catalog because of this. That should just be a clip. This should be the trailer for this podcast. <laughs> this is why old ladies are scared of the internet. <laughs> Box. I just got a box from Canaflower. It Chris just Hanna. arrived. It just came here. This, yeah, our uh, butler, uh, Shmeeves the Jeeves, yeah. dropped it off. Thank you, Shmeeves. Now get the fuck out of here. Chris hasn't tried to jerk any of their, off their stuff yet. Yeah. Sorry, I'm so, belittling yeah, the this butler. Is, this is exciting. What's going on in this box? This is my kind of box. Oh, what is em, 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 Ambrosia Haze? <laughs> ambrosia? It's Sativa. Oh, clever got... orange blossom herbal. What a fun bag. Berry Cobbler? I got uh, so Lemon those Drop. Those are uh, gummies, is... right? No, this is flower. What flower? is this? This oh, is okay. CBD rich cannabis uh... Sativa. Bubba Kush. Look at the packaging. CBD rich sativa, five gram pre roll, five one gram pre rolls. All right, I'm gonna smoke one of these. Oh, I want this you to is know a I lot of stuff. Brambleberry. Oh, those are the. There you go. That's, Brambleberry those are the fairy. Is that is that how I get out of the Shire? <laughs> those, these are gummies. Look at this guy. Yeah. This is so the wait, best box in the. So, isn't that great? So they, Hannah yeah. Flower sent me these. Yeah, I. So they gave me. Whoa. They reached out some? to me. They asked if I wanted any samples, and I said I actually ordered stuff from the company. I said, but my co-host hasn't had any of this stuff, and they said, oh, we'll send you, send a box for him. Yeah. Wow. Way more than I expected. This is a lot. Yeah. Look at this. Wow. I think this is called you, like the Explorer flower. box. I think there's there's packages people can buy if they want to like try stuff out. I think, <laughs> the door I think it's of one the of them. In New Jersey, <laughs> do they ship? Where do they ship? They ship everywhere it's sure. nationwide because it's like high CBD, low THC. So oh. they're allowed to ship it. CBD rich. Anywhere. So wait. Interesting. I'm going to open one of these things. Handcrafted. With we have a, we this have is a, fancy. We have a banner at the bottom of our website superliveventure.com you can scroll to the bottom or you can just go to canaflower.com and they gave us a promo code which is super live and that gives our listeners 20 percent off 20 percent off and this is the the explorer box so you get 20 percent off the explorer box this or is anything a great they have different packages your mom like who yeah, likes right? weed like this is a good birthday present i don't know how to open it come here you big boy oh yeah it's like well because it's like a child proof Thanks. <laughs> you, it's like all right. What are you trying see, to see, say? See if Laura can do it. Come here, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Shmeeves, get in uh, here and open this. There we go. Oh, all right. Thanks. Mommy opened it for Thank you. You, you want to? I'm gonna smoke one of these. You want one of these? Yeah. There you go. Let's see. Let's see how it's. Oh, we're gonna light one up. Look at this little. I want the tin. The tin is cool, right? Look, it's like you, almost like an old style. Keep, like, you can take the tin. You can it's take almost that. like an old Sucrete's tin, but the lid slides yeah. off. And you have to kind of pinch it. You have to pinch it on both sides. You I don't know it. what I'm doing, Look, Cataflower. You, you pinch it on the side. Uh, you see these little dots? I can't do that. You can do it. I believe in you. you oh, can it do tastes it. really good. It does, right? Thank you, Cataflower. Yeah, I've been happy with them. All right. I think you guys will be happy with them, too. If you want to get high. But not, but not really. really. Ooh, ooh, you could get ooh. a little bit of can of flour. Can you could smoke. Ooh, ooh, can of flour. During work. Ooh, or at school. <laughs> Everyone will think you're cool. <laughs> can of flour. Can of flour. Flour can power. Of, can of flour. Da -dum -dum. That's. It's <laughs> a can of flour song. That's, I mean, everyone knows it. I thought the cats were getting to me the last few times I've been here. It was my eye, right? Every time I come here. Yeah. Like, You're right. I'm like, I have something in my, my eyes. 
<laughs> then I said, you know, it's not always cats. It could be. I was like, you got a scented candle. It could be that. And he's like, I'll blow it out. I was like, no. Nah. And he go, well, it's a cayenne pepper. A candle. cayenne pepper candle. <laughs> and it was blowing in front it. of me with a fan opposite it. <laughs> blowing into blowing. his eyes. And John's eyes are turning red. We're, you're poisoning him. You poisoned him. I'm macing him You slowly. poisoned your best friend. Macing <laughs> Next up on 60 Minutes. So... I'm okay. I'm okay. Hey, he gave me Visine. He blew the candle out. He turned the fan off. Don't He's feel bad. Terrible. We don't oh. want you to feel bad. I'm okay. I'm that fine. Like I'm, I'm glad we figured it out. You had it was a big candle. It's a big cayenne. It's caramel cayenne. It smells lovely though. Sure. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, John's a little Macaulay Culkin eyes. He's sensitive. <laughs> He's a sensitive, sensitive boy. Sensitive. He's a sensitive boy. He's a sensitive boy. Look, no. he has light eyes. Yeah. They're more sensitive. That, yeah. They are. <laughs> In the sun, I'm blind. In the sun, forget about it. You see this guy in the sun? I am too. I, I got to wear sunglasses. I can't. Can't do it? I can't walk around in the sunlight without sunglasses. Like daylight, I can't even. It's terrible. It could be overcast. Fucking vampire. I, wow. I don't know. I just, I can't. Everything's too bright for me. <laughs> it's like a vampire. I can't be in the daylight. <laughs> Guys, no. I just think my future's so bright, I got to wear shades. I think that's, that's. I don't drink blood. Well. You say, you say that's what you say. That's what a vampire would say. I would, but, you know, ask my wife. I don't drink blood. She won't let him. She won't. She's not going to tell. <laughs> She's a vampire, too. She might be. I have to ask you, did you see Sean Kuehl posted, like, a story of, like, an Elvis performing in, like, his neighbor's backyard, I guess? Okay. Like, over the fence. And this guy's, like, an Elvis impersonator. No. He's doing a full show for, like, a barbecue. And I laughed yeah, and I briefly, messaged so him. That, yes. I think I talked about it on an old, old episode where I was like, that happened in my aunt's backyard. Yeah. After the Travis Fourth of July parade, she like invited Elvis and like Frankie Blue Eyes back. <laughs> to, to, to and what a show. party it was. <laughs> it was so awkward. So he posts that and then he goes, I wonder if it's the same guy. And I talked about that guy in the show, that Elvis impersonator on Staten Island that I knew, like beat his wife real bad and was in the paper. Oh, God. And Canceled. people knew about it. And then oh. he had plastic surgery after to kind of look less like that, but more like Elvis. Oh. And I, it was a whole, yeah, the guy was like a oh, real dirtbag. I was like, I wonder if it's still that guy. And I'm trying to remember his name. So I start Googling like Staten Island Elvis. Now you don't get, just get, <laughs> I, at first I thought, wow, there's a lot, but it was kind of just giving me like a, and in the area. And right. I found, the guy that I showed you a, a picture of, and I just said, remind me to talk about this guy, because I don't know what is he just cr his whole look like cracks <laughs> his me head up. Is really oh big. my god, <laughs> he's, he's he looks like Elvis having a stroke. <laughs> but you're gonna amazing. you're gonna love his name. Is this the white it's Peter Shmelvis. guy? It's Schmelvis. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> is this the white Peter guy? No, it's not. Okay, it's a good. different All guy. Right. This right. just led me to this guy. All right, good. I don't want to deal with that. His guy. his name is Elvis Pretzel. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> he looks like oh my you're, God. he looks like Ed McMahon <laughs> like you know, like in twins where the leftovers <laughs> he's like leftover uh, Ed McMahon twin. That's he's what he a, looks he's like. Ed, he's Ed McMuffin. <laughs> Not Elvis. He doesn't look anything. No. Wait, let me see him again. Elvis let me see him again. Let me give my diagnosis on Elvis Pretzel. You didn't let me see him oh, okay. long oh, enough. Right. Let me see this guy. Okay. okay. Let me see Elvis Pretzel. Okay, there's Elvis Pretzel. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, first of all, he's, he's definitely wearing a wig. That's a wig. With yeah, a bump it's in a wig. It. He's mad old. Look at the photo captions. Oh, are all like surprise uh, birthday. Oh, and he's with some like lady who's definitely dead by now. <laughs> Somebody go. oh private, no. private birthday party. He he looks he's bringing joy, and he's he looks more like of... Wayne Newton. Yes, he looks like a Wayne Newton impersonator. He could do a better Wayne. Newton. I mean, I yeah, wanna, he'd be much better. I want to see. Him. Oh wow! Oh my God, he is looks like F Johnny Cash. Should yeah, he... a little like Johnny Cash. He looks like if Johnny Cash fucked Wayne Newton, and they had a baby, and they <laughs> beat that a, baby. <laughs> On his website. Oh, I love I think him. You should, and he's like I coming at him. you. You should request a free quote. 
And I maybe should. we yes. can have a party. We can have him on. Yeah, yes. I'm really, really curious Maybe we can about... invite him down. I want to meet Elvis Pretzel. Now, I... <laughs> <laughs> Elvis Pretzel! If you go to ElvisPretzel.com, get 10% off this month when you try my services. I can do Elvis solo or with my band. Oh, my services. Welcome to Elvis Pretzel, impersonating <laughs> Elvis Presley. Contact me. He's got a phone number. It's too late, but we should call this guy. <laughs> you, oh, I'm down the call right now. Mr. Pretzel! Mr. Pretzel! No, here's this about me. About Elvis the whole band. Pretzel was created February 14th, 2001. Oh. Valentine's Day. He's Bummer. An Aquarius. <laughs> Elvis Pretzel was created from Creed. a national contest in the snack market what? to stimulate sales. What? What? Stimulate sales of pretzels on then, Valentine's Day. And then it says, "With using Elvis." Yeah, well, Elvis pretzel. <laughs> he's selling pretzels. That's how Who's, it originated. Which pretzel company? Uh, he does, he's not telling us. Wow. But he won number two in the whole country. Number two. Yeah, he's a real number oh, two. He just he's made definitely it. A number I need two. to know who's number one. Twenty years later, he is Elvis busy Parsley making people. <laughs> Elvis Frito Lay. <laughs> <laughs> Elvis Frozen Yogurt. Yeah. <laughs> so it started, yeah, it was like he was, I think, trying to win like a contest for a pretzel company and then just kept the name Elvis Pretzel. And 20 years later, he's still, <laughs> he's still Elvis Pretzel. You know Pret what? He this will is perform a... your, he will. Officiate your wedding? Will wow. he? Will he perform at our vasectomy? He loved it so much. Will he perform? I should ask him. He, uh, maybe just, we could get him to the go school. Can we have? <laughs> He'll learn how to, to the party. Let's, the to the, the, the vasectomy funny... stag party. We'll get the. <laughs> we'll get him to come instead of a we, stripper. We'll yes, get him. We haven't yes. filled listeners. <laughs> we're still gonna put money down his we're pants. Gonna, we're can gonna, I say yeah. lo, lo, long? Long story <laughs> short, update on the vasectomy. <laughs> Dr. Seaman got cold feet and ghosted us. Yeah, Dr. this is Seaman. actually, as of recording, we were supposed to have vasectomies yesterday. Big disappointment. We canceled the appointments, but yeah. we are still going to get vasectomies. But at the same time, I'm sure, like, I know even from my wife, she, like, she understands why, but also as a doctor, he was still going to do the vasectomy. So the, it's like the podcast the is why I don't continues. have it. And then if we were just like, hey, there's an Elvis impersonator who's willing to <laughs> learn how to do it. It's going to take a while. <laughs> But you understand. We're gonna send He's really big Elvis in the Pretzel snack industry. to medical school. Yes, to, to the Hanover Pretzel College. We're sending a 74-year-old man to med school. By the time yeah. he's 80, if he makes it, uh, he could be almost ready to give to give you guys yeah. vasectomies. I think this is a good wow. story for everyone to never give up. And just because you come in number two. Mm-hmm. Doesn't mean that you can't give up on your dreams. That's right. You know, you, you just keep going. Just you Elvis could be pretzel. like Elvis Pretzel. Why not be like Elvis Pretzel? Why not? We should all aspire to be more like Elvis Pretzel. He's living his life. He's doing his thing. <laughs> That's right. And making making snacks happen. Yeah. He's in, he's based out of uh, Pennsylvania. Do you think he lost of his wife? South, South Ham- Do you Hampton. think he lost his wife? Come from. Do you think he lost his wife? In because a pretzel, I, a this is what I'm gonna imagine. Incident. This guy's pretty old, right? Yeah. So here's what I'm imagining. Twenty years ago, this guy is like in his fifty. It's like midlife crisis for him. Mm-hmm. He's like, I'm gonna do this thing, like get my spark back. Yeah, I'm gonna. And be, then he goes in, be, and then I'm he fucking the loses scat. his mind, like Brr. to the wife. She all the. All of a sudden, he's quitting his job. Yeah, he's dressing like Elvis full fucking time, and she's like, "But we have kids to send to college." And he's like, "This is my dream. I need to be Elvis Pretzel. I need to be Elvis Pretzel." And she's just like, "I can't do it, man." No, and he pushes her into a pretzel making machine and like <laughs> bends her up. <laughs> And it now his, her. his uh, wife is dead. He comes out. She comes out. It's shaped like a bloody flesh pretzel. <laughs> this is like a fletchel. Willy oh. Wonka Elvis yeah. pretzel. Yeah. Elvis pretzel's sick. He's got a dark no, side. Oh, no, yeah. No, he killed no. his wife in a he pretzel machine. He killed his wife. He <laughs> pushed her in the pretzel machine and cracked all the bones. You heard it here first. And then threw salt on the wound. <laughs> <laughs> if we ever do get him to come on the show. 
we have to make sure he doesn't find out about oh that yeah was, this yeah conversation. Accused him of, no, we accused just, hey. him of murdering his wife just hire him <laughs> let's see what Is he's it? about maybe he could come to my fourth of july barbecue Attention all Elvis fans. Before you commit to an outrageous price, there is a more reasonable choice. Elvis pretzel. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Don't waste your money. I would hire him in a heartbeat. Uh, Reviews are good. People are happy. I'm convinced. I'm going to look him up on Instagram. Yeah. We got got to look look up some videos. But Sean Kuehl, thank you, man, for... uh, Lead me down that path. That's fucking uh, perfect. Yeah. Don't hire Elvis Dorito. <laughs> you want Elvis Pretzel. Elvis Dorito is an, a bad Elvis Duran impersonator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They, yeah. They have a silent feud or they work together. Mm-hmm. The more the better. You think Elvis Pretzel will die on a toilet? <laughs> We can only hope. <laughs> they lift him up and his turn is just shaped like a pretzel. Yeah. <laughs> how updated he died eating is eating a pretzel? Making how a updated pretzel. is that website? How do we know Elvis Pretzel's not already dead? Oh, no, don't say that. I got a lot of dark, though. I'm getting dark feelings about Elvis. Well, if we keep talking about him, he's going to die. That's what happens on this show. Right? We talk about somebody too much. Yeah. The end. Yeah. <laughs> Angels, harbingers of death. We're angels of death. (laughs) Yeah, it happens. Starting at $200 per event. That's not bad. We could get a petting zoo and this guy. That's pretty great. Have a real party. Yeah. Have him open a live show. (laughs) (laughs) That's the live show. Come to the live show. You pet a goat. Elvis Pretzel is going to be there. Elvis Pretzel performs. (laughs) We want Elvis Pretzel performing at the same time as the petting zoo. I want Elvis Pretzel riding a goat. I, I want I'll, every, I'll sing in blue suede shoes. Everyone needs to have the most absurd experience possible. You get pony rides. You get the pony to come. You put Elvis on the pony. Elvis did that on the flyer. Elvis on a pony. Elvis and then you hire this guy and you're like, oh, what do you want me to set up? And you're like, actually, we, you're just going to ride a pony around. You're going to yeah. ride a pony for an hour. We have the pony for an hour and you're going to be on him singing tunes. Elvis on a pony. And that same kid who saw the raccoon take off his costume, that same kid is going to see Elvis on a pony walking down the street. <laughs> We're now, making... I wanna, now I don't even want to podcast with it. I don't want to. No. It's now it's just happen. Elvis on a pony. Yeah. And we set, make that happen. Elvis somewhere. on a pony yeah. with a really bad flyer, like a flyer from 1998 yeah. that you would find in like the hallway of college. It's yeah. just like a colored like, piece of paper yeah. and a square Club picture. Club Amazon. Yeah. It's, just, it's a hunk of hunk of pony ride. <laughs> exclamation point. <laughs> Free pizza. Exclamation point. Yeah. Can you put an adult on a pony like that? You get a, you could get a horse. You well, could get a horse. Yeah. You could get the horse to come. There's, not, Elvis on a horse. There's a company you pay a, a little guy. extra. You Elvis get a, on a unicorn. Unicorn. Pretzel's a big guy. The company that I got to do the petting zoo, you gave them a little extra, and they they could do a unicorn. Hey. They they send you a white horse with a fucking horn. You know they strap a horn. <laughs> oh, no. oh wait, he's got a strap. He's got a strap, 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 got on, a strap on horn. Yeah. We could put a horn on it, but it dies in about four hours. So. <laughs> Do whatever you got to do. <laughs> you soak all the love up out of that unicorn because that's going to be it. Take all the, the pictures last, you can. It's the last right. Jersey unicorn. The Jersey unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> we got a solid idea for a live show. I'm glad, you know, we could work on that. Or pony rides at the vasectomy. We could work on this. We have a lot of good ideas. <laughs> Elvis on a pony while we're getting vasectomy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, how long could that take to put together? Elvis Pretzel. Elvis Pretzel. And whatever the cheapest horse is. It's a couple hundred, but, we, you know, we're adults. What do you think costs the, more? These are adult a horse things. Or Elvis Pretzel? The horse. The horse costs a little more, especially if you, <laughs> yeah. get, if you get the petting yeah. zoo to come with it. It's a package. Yeah. <laughs> do you think at the end of the night they shoot them both and drag them into the glue factory? <laughs> Oh, we got to wrap it up. Wrap it's it up, Chris. It's been a long night of uh, drinking and laughing and smoking CBD. <laughs> 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 
hey, I just did a podcast, the Galaxy of Film podcast. Uh, we talked about Blues Brothers and then Wayne's World. It's pretty interesting. I like the oh. dynamic of like two guys, you know, doing things in Chicago or at least in Illinois. Yeah. <laughs> SNL, SNL movies. Yeah. Good SNL movies. Yeah. Good SNL movies. Check that out. That's, uh, you know, anywhere you hear podcasts. Good, good guys over there at Galaxy Film. www.wayne'sbrothers.film. HTTP. That's right. Slash colon Geo Cities Tokyo Tea House <laughs> slash A three zero four seven zero. Let us know what you think of it. We got a live show coming up. We're going to be at the Fifth Borough Comedy Festival. Bang! Nice. And Ooh. where is that going to be? That's going to be at Apple Jacks Two. In New Jersey. Not- In New Jersey. <laughs> you like Apple Jacks That's 1, where we were you're going to go bonkers for Apple Jacks 2. Oh, wait, 2. this is Apple Jacks 2? This isn't even Apple Jacks 1? I think it's Apple Jacks 2. I didn't know there was two Apple Jacks. I don't know if there are. <laughs> <laughs> Apple Jacks 2000. What if it's just that, you know? Uh, I wouldn't know the difference. New Jersey, I, I only the know sixth borough. The fifth borough comedy We're festival. Going to the sixth borough in yeah. New Jersey. Yeah, the sixth <laughs> borough. And well, you know what? Because Kirshner is a Staten Island guy who moved to Jersey. I'm a Staten Island guy who moved to Jersey. It's kind of fitting. Uh, We're gonna. Oh, this is me. what is it? Jesus o- Christ! What's it? Would you say October? October eighth. Super Live Adventure is gonna record a live episode at seven o'clock. And then I'm going to be headlining the stand-up portion of the show. That's right. After you that. Get tickets at Eventbrite. Yeah. Dot com. Absolutely. And we'll have a link in the description. Yeah. We got to get going. Give us a call. We want to hear from you. Leave a voicemail at 781-POD-SLAP. That's 781-763-7527. You can email us, slap at superliveadventure.com. And you can send us some snail mail to Slap Studios, 536 Park Avenue, number 631, Scotch Plains, New Jersey. Zero seven zero seven six, and if you like this show, you know you, what to do. You know what, what to do. do. You can fit it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> where you shit it? Shit it! <laughs> nipples and dick is.